Hey YouTubers, so I'm just going to do a quick kind of review setup with the VQTEC waterproof hard case for the Mavic Air 2 drone. I actually have the Mavic uh, Air 2S, so apparently um, according to Amazon and eBay and all that, it said that uh, it's compatible with the Air 2S as well. So even though it just kind of says like Mavic Air, the Mavic Air 2, um, so we're going to go uh, put we're going to put it up to the actual test and see if it uh, works. So let's take it off the part here. Essentially, um, I'm just going to kind of pull it out here. There it is. It's a pretty nice color. I don't mind the like red look there. So, um, yeah. That's weird. It can only handle three. Oh no, four. Four styrofoam pieces. Just the other ones in there. In there. And this is actually in a fully um, sealed bag. A fully sealed bag. It's not like in one of those bags that you can just open up. So let's go ahead and uh, just tear it open, I guess. Oh wait, nope. Sorry, it's over here on the side. There we go. And the colors are nice. So let's uh, get this thing opened up here. Look at that. Let's get started. Oh, the little instructions here on the back. So it's kind of handy. Now, this is for the Mavic Air 2 drone, but according to the um, uh, Amazon, it says it's good for the Air 2S as well. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this definitely part here is for the ND filters for the Mavic 2. So the new filters will not fit apparently. So let's see, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so right now I have the Mavic Air 2 in the case that uh, comes in with the DJI. So this is pretty much it right here. So let's do that. I think this is just a foam piece for Shows that it can come out. Oh, interesting. Hmm, interesting. Okay, anyways, yeah, well, let's just start putting some things in there and we'll kind of make everything uh, good. that there's SD card slots here somewhere. Oh, yeah, right there and then right here. Okay, so here's the new, here's the new Mavic Air 2S. Okay, so it is Mavic Air 2S. Um, so according to this, apparently, um, it just kind of fits right in there. So let's just take out a battery here. And I do have the Fly More uh, combo. So um, let's see how this fits in. Yeah, so that fits in pretty good. It is a bit loose though. It is a little bit loose, but I mean it's it's fine. I don't think it'll go flying out, obviously. The batteries uh, go like this. So apparently they're the same batteries. Oh yeah, so those batteries fit in pretty good. So let's get the other two batteries out real quick. See, here's the new case for the ND filters. Let's just get these in real quick. So technically, this one can hold up to uh, five batteries, obviously. So three, four, and then one on the airplane. Or one on the drone. Uh, apparently, this is maybe the same, but we probably have to unscrew the... See, this is a pretty tight fit, but these should be fairly the same. That's yeah, pretty tight. Probably wanna oh yeah look at that it shows them off here because one goes right here and the other one goes right here. Uh, okay yeah that makes sense cool. Okay so that's done. Um, here's the cables here actually I have uh, I, I got the fly more kit so there's all sorts of propellers and things like that. Um, I have another few cables in the front.
Okay, so this is like a USB charger thing. Um, so according to this, for the Mavic Air 2, this is where the ND filter case goes. But this is a new ND filter case for it. So this is a, a little bit different now. So this comes out like this and opens up. 4, 8, 16, and 32. Those are the ND filters. So um, this doesn't actually fit anywhere in here. So the only other place where I could think of it can go is underneath here. So if we do that, let's do that. Let's see. Let's see if there's room underneath. Yeah, there should be room. Because I don't want to push this thing all the way down, right? Because it stops like halfway. It's almost like it just gets locked in. So, yeah. Like, if I go anymore, I, <laughs> I don't want it to get stuck. So I guess you can put the ND filter case underneath the remote control. Honestly. Like, that's probably where it would be safe as bet. And if you don't want to unscrew the screws in and out all the time, you would probably just push this further down. But now I'm hitting the ND filter case. Let's see how high these screws go. Still a bit high. I wouldn't risk that just just in case it kind of messes with the analog um, sticks there. So I just keep them separate. They only take a few seconds to kick in and out. So um, yeah, so that can just stay like that. That's fine. There's a bug in here. What the hell? Okay, cool. Anyway, um, this is like the USB charger for the battery. So if you want the USB charge, um, I don't know. I guess I could use that for this now. Just stick that in there, I guess. I don't know. There. Sure. Works good, I guess. So that's according to that. Um, double layer design. Cut to fit your... Okay, so if I wanted to actually cut it, I, would, I think I have to cut this. Apparently. Cool. Okay, yeah, so let's... Uh, so the cables here, here's USB to C, I, here's the regular USB, so these apparently just go in here. These are just going to stuff in here, and then, I don't know how well they have it actually, let's see how well they have it. Oh yeah, so that's where they go. Um, honestly, I think what I would do with these, because I don't have an extra battery, I'd probably just put these in here, honestly. Because I have another one here, so it should kind of be like more of a storage tray in a sense. I mean, I don't think I'd plan to buy an extra battery. If I do, it would probably only be one battery. Because four batteries would be enough for some of the shoots that I do. So, uh, this again, like I could probably just keep one on the drone, because I only I use the one on the drone. So I could just... Kind of keep that in here. I'll put it in here, whichever, but um, I'll probably just keep it with the rest of these guys here. In case if someone wants to borrow my drone, they can borrow it. Um, as for these, I'm assuming that's what you would kind of cut these out for. Is I'm sorry for the off angle. I should have actually moved it over and... Yeah, you know what? This is solid. Like, like, I actually can't even get that out. Like, that didn't even boom. Didn't even come out. I just want to see the bottom here. We're just gonna try to take this out. Oh no, it's just gonna fall through. Okay, cool. So let's see on the bottom here. No, it's cut out. It's cut out. It's cut out already. It's just really really tight because they probably were going to use it for a storage tray okay there we go essentially these just go straight through the ground like it just goes right to the bottom so this is actually for the for this part here okay if there's even a little card here oh this is like a soft nice foam hard piece here so we're going to definitely keep that in there and yeah like if you flip it over it's just go straight through right to the bottom. So let's put this back in. There we go. Okay. So now we're good. Let's get our consendy fit in here now. Kind of. Oh yeah, it'll fit. But we'll probably just keep it in here, honestly. 
just in case I, I want to put the battery charger and stuff in there. So let's do that. Let's, let's put this guy back in right here. Just like that's fine. I'm going to put the drone back in. Yeah, this is still kind of loose. Obviously, the this is a bit smaller, I'm guessing, because everything else is a pretty snug fit. Um, I guess if you want to protect it, I mean, that's even cut out room for the back end. Oh yeah, you know why? Because the remote control is a little bit different compared to the Air, uh, from the Air 2 to the Air 2S, so that's probably why. They're in just a little bit different positions, so uh, that's fine. Um, so now that we got this out, we can actually put our storage stuff in here if we want. So our extra propellers, because I got the Fly More combo kit, so kind of just put those in there. Um, Put the battery, put these guys just in the extra storage bin here. And there's like the battery sled tray, like the adapter, and I think those may fit in there. I'm just going to go grab them real quick, just to make sure. Here it is here, essentially. Uh, let's undo this. It's just unplugged like this. This is just the power cable. So let's see if we can actually fit everything in here. If we can, that's actually cool, because then... Uh, I assume it goes like this. Yeah, that's how it goes. So it just goes face up, obviously, and it just hits the top. Assume it stops there. Is that where they want it to stop, or can can it go lower than that? No, apparently that's how it goes. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, so it can either go left or right. Um, so I'll just keep it like that, I guess. Um, cool thing about this one too. This one also has a USB on it too, so you can actually um, charge something too, like your phone, also through the adapter. Uh, so the props are in there. Let's just stick this in there. And then uh, this cord should just be able to fit in there, no problem. I'll just use a little strap here to kind of hold it together. Depending how you keep the props, I guess. I mean, there is two, there is two full sets of props. Probably don't need them unless you're bad at crashing drones, and I would suggest you keep as much props as you can. But I only crashed a Phantom Three once, and that was years ago. I'm still okay. There, and that's it. That's pretty much it. So it is a little bit different compared to the uh, Mavic Air Two. If you want to put the Air Two S in here, so. Uh, this is just isn't a snug fit, but it's still safe. It's not going to go flying out. It's not going to bang around and damage anything. Okay. So again, um, yeah. Air 2S, Air 2S. So it's just going to kind of go in there. Uh, this is for the N old ND filter slot, but you can fit this USB battery uh, tray in there if you really want, even though that's not what it's for, but it fits in there fine. Um, four battery backups plus the one on the drone so you can fit five in here the little storage tray um, I don't know what this is for hang on I may, oh yeah this is actually for the cables so you, so you can put the cables in there like all, all these cables I just stuffed them in here it was easier in the battery tray and that's it let's close it now and that's pretty much it that's all I can really uh, say. It's nice and sturdy. It's firm. It's waterproof as well. Um, I definitely like the feel and size of this. Kind of like the color red as well on it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, sure beats this. <laughs> so, I would definitely, uh, yeah, I would recommend this for $70 on Amazon. 
So um, feel free to comment, feel free to ask anything else, and we're all done. Thank you so much for watching.